Once you're done with your Java project and you're ready to submit it, we're going to go up to File, down to Export. Here you'll be brought to a bunch of different export options. We're going under General and selecting Archive File, going Next. Then we, if we have more than one file here, more than one project here, we would pick which one we want. We only have one right now. Um, we want to make sure that it's in a zip format and the files are compressed um, and that we hold the directory structure. Here in our archive, this is the location where we want the saved file. So you can pick where that is. I'm going to save it to my desktop so I can find it really quick and show it to you. And I'm going to save this as the same name as the class. Hello, Java class. Finally, I'll save it to the desktop and finish, and it will export it. Once I've got it exported, you'll see it, find it in your export location. Here is mine. Um, this is the file that I would upload to Blackboard. I want to show you what's in it really quick, so I'm going to just unzip it. And in here, you're going to find two folders. And one of them is going to be, so the other one, the source file, which has your Java code in it. And then whenever you compile it and run it, it's actually running this class code here. So that's why it's important to put both of those um, to just zip it up inside of Eclipse and submit it that way. And again, we're going to submit this to Blackboard. If you need instructions on how to upload documents to Blackboard, just let me know and I can give you that file as well.